Good day. What you see behind me is the printing of 3D masks. These masks are used to help alleviate the spread of COVID-19 in the territory. Uh, there is a shortage of regular medical grade masks across the world, but particularly in the territory. Uh, this project started when a physician on St. Croix contacted the university president, Dr. David Hall. She was aware that we had 3D printing capability on the campuses and said, asked if there was anything we could do to help alleviate the shortage. This particular design takes a number of different filter elements. So since there is a shortage of N95 masks, what a lot of the physicians are doing is taking the N95 masks that they do have and cutting them into little squares and using those squares as filter elements uh, for this mask, which can be disinfected, that filter element removed, and then you can then you can go again, and therefore extending the useful life of the N95 masks that they do have. I'm not alone in this project by any means. Um, Dr. David Morris, who is a professor of physics, was also contacted by a local physician and asked if anything he could do. He has a 3D printer related to his research on cube satellites. So he's part of the printing team. A UVI student, Tadisha Charles, is on St. Croix. She's an active member of innovation and entrepreneurship at UVI. She's very familiar with 3D printing. and She's in charge of printing on that island. So there's three of us printing virtually around the clock because it takes about five hours to print one mask. It's not a fast process, but we've been going at it since the end of March and we've distributed probably at least about a hundred masks so far. So we're doing what we can. I'm very proud to be part of a university that considers itself an integral part of the community so that when the community has an issue, we try to respond. I am Dr. Tim Faley, and this is Innovation and Entrepreneurship in Action at UBI.